you are um, obviously a man of God. And I yes. noticed that first when um, we sat down with Alex and I think some food was served and um, I noticed you closed your eyes and, and prayed. Mm. And I've never really seen that before. It was really nice to see. The only time I've ever seen that is when it's been televised in like a Hollywood movie where they all hand, hold hands around the <laughs> table. But yours, that just seems so uh, theatrical the way they do it. Yours really looked like there was so much meaning and intent and belief behind it and mm. it was not that i was like watching you i was kind of letting you do your thing but it was just really nice to see mm. and is that is that something you've done from birth have you always uh, been a man of god no um just being completely honest and i do that on my own as well mm. it's it's not something that i that i only do in public i i, I always um thank god for everything but it's been it's been gradual. My relationship with God has grown over the years, but um, I think you cannot you you cannot go out and search for it. It it comes to you as you develop, right? As you let go of some of the habits that are, aren't serving you anymore, as you start um, learning what is right and what is wrong, your relationship with God will grow, and I think. Uh, I would be very naive to think that the only thing that I have is this world that we live in, right? I, I look forward to seeing what's after this world. And so I know there's a, a higher power and I always try to stand under it mm. and, and, and walk, the, walk in the light. Mm. And if you don't mind me asking, where do you think that has come from? Is that a decision that you've made yourself over time? Like you said, as you've grown and as you've developed, mm. you've also developed this principle and this way of thinking and seen i guess stepped into the the belief that is the bible hmm yeah so it's hard to pinpoint it mm. right uh but i've always been on the fence i've always been dabbling in the world and trying to have a relationship with god but it wasn't until last year that i actually took a stand and i said when God says, uh, you, my, my children are not of this world, okay? So you have to take a stand at some point. If, if you want to follow Christ, you cannot indulge yourself in certain things of the world. So last year I took a stand and I said, I'm going to get baptized again. And so I ended up having uh, a trip to Israel um, and I was baptized and gave my life to Christ in the Jordan River with my sister. And after that, I haven't looked back, you know. Yes, I have days where I might stumble, but I get right back on track. Mm. And so I think what you see is is not, it's already part of me. It's not something that I claim to be, you know. That's why I don't like to label myself as a Christian. Um, I'm a follower of Christ. Because people have their own spectrum on, on, on Christianity, and you might look at it from your spectrum, right? But from what you see in me personified, what I um, what I am, that's that's really who you should um, look at, right? Because if not, it's going to be hard to understand from your concept, from what you've seen on TV, et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, well, that's exactly it. That's like what I said about, um, you know, Hollywood kind of making it a theatrical thing where everyone's kind of holding hands around the table. And I hadn't really thought much into it past that point, you know, because it's not something I've ever done. But clearly it does exist and people do do it. And there's so much more meaning behind it than the way Hollywood will, will kind of make it look. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and, and plus, I mean, we have to actually think deeper than just this life and what we see what is after this you know i hope that you're not just living for material things uh, and, and don't get me wrong i i play the game but i know this is a game you know mm. I, I will play it I, I will try to strive to be the best in the in the worldly aspect as well mm. but i want to know what's after this right what is heaven like yeah right yeah. um because you you will be stripped of everything and only a few will make it there mm. And what are you gonna see there? Like the the people who are there. You're gonna mm. see the purity in the heart and the real intentions mm. that you cannot hide behind any amount of money and any amount of uh, successes in, in this life. Mm. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah.